Music to acting and having a family. Award-winning singer-songwriter Eric Benet has been very busy. Indeed. His latest role is co-creator for a psychological thriller with a star-studded cast. And the one and only Eric Benet is joining us this morning to tell us all about it. Welcome to New York Living. Buenos dias, Eric. Yes. Buenos dias. How y'all doing today? We're, Better we're great. for seeing you. Yes. Um, before, we, before we start, you go to the bodega. What's your breakfast order? Uh, if I go to the bodega, my breakfast order is like egg whites with some spinach. Uh, um, he's healthy. And uh, <laughs> some fake meat sausage, mm -hmm. probably. You see, that's, that's why he looks this good. I was just going to say, that's why he still looks like he's 22. Sheesh. Uh, All right. Have a right. <laughs> Let's talk about your project yes. you're working on. Now, the idea for the show came during a road trip in an RV. How did that all come about? Yeah, that, you know, it was uh, during the downtime of the, the COVID that uh, we all remember so well. And my family, uh, we hopped in, our, in an RV and we're driving somewhere out in Utah and I'm under the stars. And mm. I don't know, I just kind of start having this little uh, existential mind trip, you know, hmm. not chemically induced, sure, mind okay. you. That's okay. <laughs> Just uh, thinking about life and how we all interact with each other as humans and trying to figure out how to maneuver through good and bad and yeah. what it means. And then this, this story kind of popped into my head and I decided maybe I'll write the story down. Okay. Uh, wrote the story, contacted a friend of mine who was a director, and we decided to shoot that story as a short film. And... Um, we shot that story, and some people at the, the good people at All Black uh, saw my little short film and fell in love with it and said, "Hey, let's let's make this a series." Eric, when you talk about story, can you short of telling us the whole plot, um, because there are so many layers to this psychological thriller? Yeah. Because you are taking mm -hmm. things that you see and you've experienced in your community and beyond and putting it on the screen. So can you, when you refer to that story, can you give us a little bit more uh, of what that story Abs is? Absolutely. If, if you, uh, when you think about the show Snap, you, you, you can't help but to think about uh, the Twilight Zone. Mm -hmm. um, it's an anthology series. Every story is different. Every episode is different, but every episode is dealing with social ethical issues that we as uh, these uh, human beings that we are, are trying to maneuver through every day um, and that we're dealing with in the ethosphere and on the Twitter sphere and in our daily lives from abortion rights to Black Lives Matter to dealing with fake news to dealing with, uh, you know, how we perceive other people who are different colors or different sexual mm -hmm. orientations than us. and. Um, I, I'd, I'd like for people to take a look at this show, and as they're looking at the show, they're looking at their own uh, perspectives mm -hmm. on, on life and themselves and, and how they interact with other people. Really some heady material. Now, on a, in addition to that, there are, are a lot of big names on the project, yeah. including uh, Michael Buscemi, Tisha Campbell, Clifton Powell, just to name a few. So what went into choosing who would be part of these episodes? Well, it was really important. I mean... Television and, and film, it, it all comes down to story, first mm -hmm. of all. And, uh, you know, I equate it very much like when I'm in the rec when recording studio writing a song. I'm like, okay, whose voice mm. is just going to make this song pop? <laughs> <laughs> And when it comes to film and TV, it's the same thing. You know, it's uh, there's certain actors that bring a certain note, a certain flavor to a character that I couldn't have thought of. And, and I, I just knew Tisha Campbell mm -hmm. uh, would nail this part. And, it, you know, um, it, it was, and, and the other actors as well. It's, um, it's, it's it's a uh, it's very much like music. You have right. to be a little uh, pitch perfect when it comes to casting. Now you're Eric Benet, yes. so you picture <laughs> Tisha's face. Are you like Tisha? Look, I got this. <laughs> I mean, because stars well, are not just like us. Conversation because that's that's how it started. Tisha, there you go. Look, I <laughs> got the story. No, it was it was really interesting with Tisha because this the phone conversation that was I think you probably were listening because verbatim that was it and <laughs> you know she is is amazing and she's you know very much uh in demand and you know i've known her for a while so she's like all right send it over let mm -hmm. me look let me look at it we'll see i sent her the short film that i told you about we uh, mm -hmm. we shot 
I get a call back from Tisha, and Tisha's like, Aaron, Aaron, <laughs> this is so good. Wow. And so, so, you know, that's the enthusiasm we're looking for. And with every actor that we ask to be a part of this, you know, they, they would read the script and, you know, um, and and the way that the, the story arc kind of goes and you, the surprises that come and the plot yeah. twists, and it's, it's just really, really exciting. You talked a little bit ago about music. Now, you're going to be back in New York City on March 11th yes. for a pretty exciting performance. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, ooh, I knew, I knew you would ask me something mm -hmm. that I... Uh, you better make it oops, exciting. I, <laughs> you, you know what? <laughs> we're going to show up somewhere. There it is. Look at there it is. Who's that? Winery. Who's that with that magenta pocket square? I know. Okay, wow. City Winery. I love playing at the City Wineries all across the country because, first of all, the staff at all the City Wineries is so dope, mm. but it's such, uh, um, as a musician, it's got the sound has to be right. Mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, my songs and my performances and my band, we sound so good in those rooms and it's mm. an intimate environment. And uh, the wine is pretty dope. And, uh, <laughs> All right. You know, the wine doesn't like hurt either. Wine. You like yeah. your wine. What kind of wine? Are you red? Are you white? Are you a Pinot? Are you a Sauv Blanc? I'm 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 a cab I'm a cab guy okay. cab, cab 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 all the way. Cause Samino is yes. the wine connoisseur well, over here. I like them wet. Oh, any any wine that's wet, I like. Yeah. Real quick, you're, <laughs> real quick, we wanted to get in. You're down in D.C. for. That's right. Your wife's. Yeah, that's Foundation. right. That's right. Thank you so much for that. You just saved uh, probably I knew. A, a fight. I know all about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My wife has an amazing foundation called In a Perfect World. Please visit inaperfectworld.org. Uh, she does so many amazing things from building schools all over the world to raising money for uh, inner city schools. But today in D.C., she's opening a, a youth center, a media center. And uh, my wife, Manuela uh, Tessalini, she's just a, an incredible human being. And our, our daughters, Lucia and Luna, um, are just our light and joy oh, sounds I love amazing it. apple eric? doesn't fall far from the tree yes. eric benet congratulations on snap good luck stay well Thank can't much. wait to can't wait to see you march 11th City when winery. you come back come to new york on. we'll, we'll come through we'll raise a glass exactly <laughs> hey uh, bring a raisin uh, bagel, bagel. <laughs> yeah. from the bodega yeah. down the street <laughs> there <laughs> thank you eric uh,